couldn't believe it, she just watched from her car as the man talked to her daughter from across the street. Gina felt petrified as the old man smiled and laughed, but what the words that left his mouth next would never be forgotten. Then she heard a scream. It came from her daughter. She jumped out of the car, motherly instincts taking control of her body. She had to get there quickly before it was too late. Gina was a single mother who felt the best job in the world was raising and taking care of her kids. But before being a mother, she was one of the best lawyers in her entire city. But she loved doing it. Her husband was her best friend and helped her to raise a wonderful little girl named Audrey. But something would change and Gina's world would come crumbling down. Audrey had curiosity like most children her age had, but she wasn't jaded by the way the real world worked either. She was still naive and innocent. She was full of happiness and would talk to nearly anyone. Everyone around Audrey also loved her and loved being around her. But maybe it wasn't a good thing that everyone was so interested in talking to her. One day, Audrey came home from school looking much happier than usual. Why was she so happy? It's because she made a new friend called Mr. Knuckles. Gina smiled and assumed he was just an imaginary friend. Most children had them growing up, but she'd soon learn she was mistaken. Then one day, Gina nervously looked at the clock. It was 4.30 p.m., 30 minutes after Audrey should have been home. Where could she have been? She was only a five minute walk from the school. Gina jumped to every worst conclusion she could have, but just as she gave up hope, she walked in through the door. But after asking for the reason she was late, she couldn't handle the truth. Sorry, Mommy, Audrey said in her sweet voice. I was just with Mr. Knuckles, she said. Gina started to wonder if Mr. Knuckles was actually a real person. But when Audrey told her mom that Mr. Knuckles waits for her on the corner every day to talk to her, Gina knew something was up. She didn't feel comfortable with this, and like any mother, she didn't want her child talking to complete strangers, especially strangers that wait around on school corners. No way, but Gina had no idea what was coming. The next day, Audrey arrived home from school, on time this time, but instead of the cheery smile and infectious laugh she usually brought home with her, today was a different story. Audrey was clearly upset, her face was flustered and Gina could tell she had been crying. What had happened to her daughter? Gina shrugged it off and told her mom she was upset because of the test score, but Gina knew she was lying. Could it be because of Mr. Knuckles? She had to find out the truth. Gina tried to reassure herself that her daughter Audrey was a clever kid and she would never do anything stupid. She raised her with good morals, ethics, and values, but still Gina couldn't ignore that loud and worried voice in her head. She knew she had to meet this Mr. Knuckles for herself, to shake hands with the man her daughter was so adorned by. So the following day, once Gina dropped Audrey off at school, a plan popped into her head, but nothing could have prepared Gina for when she uncovered the truth about Mr. Knuckles. The mom with a plan pulled up to the school and waved her daughter goodbye. She watched as she ran to the school full of excitement and innocence. She sure was growing up. Then she waited and watched, trying to see this Mr. Knuckles for herself. A few minutes passed and then she saw it, an old man standing outside of the school. She squinted to get a closer look at him and saw Audrey approach him, and a terrible feeling hit the pit of Gina's stomach. The old man, Mr. Knuckles, was a short man. He was wearing a red baseball cap, and he seemed to take delight in watching these school children pass by. Gina watched her daughter walk up to the man, and the two started talking. She couldn't hear what they were talking about, but Gina could see glee and joy creep across the old man's wrinkled face as he stood listening to the girl. Then what the old man did next left Gina racing out of her car and calling 911. The old man and Audrey were talking for a few moments. Then, as Gina watched, the old man started to raise his fist. As soon as she saw him do this, Gina raced out of her car, panic seeping into her body. She had seen enough. She hopped out of the car, leaving the keys and the door open. But Gina didn't care. She had to help her daughter. Gina could feel her heart pounding in her chest as she ran across the road to Audrey. Her maternal instincts had fully kicked in and there was no way this old man was going to get away lightly. Very rarely did Gina panic. She often reveled in her laid-back attitude, but this time was different. This was her daughter and he was a 90-something year old man. She feels sick to her stomach. She had to help her daughter and she had to be quick. 
As Gina sprinted toward her daughter, she saw that the other school children had also arrived, huddling around the old man and Audrey. Then Gina heard the school children burst out with laughter and giggles, followed by good morning knuckles. It was at that moment then that Gina realized her worst nightmare was just that, a mere nightmare. Her prayers had been answered. Wally Richardson, aka Mr. Knuckles, as the infatuated school children call him, was a 94-year-old war veteran. Every morning he waited outside the school gates and spoke a few kind words to the children as they passed by, before giving them a handshake or a fist bump. He would give the excited school kids advice, ask them about their lives, and leave everyone, parents included, in awe of his positive personality. But why now? What does Mr. Knuckles get out of this? You see, Mr. Knuckles wanted to make a difference in the children's lives, and what better way to spend the latter years of his life than inspiring others? The old man himself has even gone viral. A video of Mr. Knuckles greeting the school children has reached nearly half a million views. Although he has been spreading joy for an incredible 10 years, thankfully he admits he's not going to slow it down anytime soon.